Well, I, I think we really um, did a good job solving the, the, the puzzle. The uh, John Olenowski, uh, the coach in Manhattan, is I think one of the best uh, at running that 1-3-1 uh, zone. It's, it's a really tough defense to prepare for. He, um, he does a great job teaching angles, and, and it's just something you don't see. And it's like, you know, I, we, I had a tough decision to make this week. We have, we have uh, we had three games in less than six days, so we have to take a day off this week. And it, it came down to do we take a day off uh, to prepare for Brown on Saturday or, you know, or Manhattan. And, and I looked at it and I said, we need two days to prepare for Manhattan because, you know, we're, we're, we don't see that kind of a zone. And, um, and you could see early in the game, you could see in the first half, we were very reluctant to attack seams. We were very hesitant. Uh, we weren't aggressive. And uh, it's, it's tough. It's tough. I mean, once we figured it out, once we uh, got the ball in the middle of the floor, and I thought Gene did a terrific job uh, complimenting uh, Jen Hazlitt. I mean, Hazlitt, you know, and, and our opener had, was, our, was, was our league scorer in 18 minutes with 19 points, but she didn't particularly play that well. And we lost that game. But tonight, even though she, she sort of uh, trailed off a little in the second half, I think she really got us going and, and I think gave us the confidence to get over the hump. Um, I just tried to come in and fill whatever void they needed. And once we got inside, Liv and Amy and Danny were able to find me and we were able to swing the ball. So whenever I was open, I shot it. And um, I just tried to run in transition and try and get us open looks. I'm pleasantly surprised because the last two games, our, our first two wins, we played probably 70 to 80 percent zone. Um, we felt we had to, but this was not a team that we could zone. With Isaacs, with Roter, and Prohalis, uh, those three kids on the floor at any given time, I mean, you saw what kind of range they had. You saw what kind of, um, uh, you know, the ability they had to just make open shots. and. You know, I, I think we, we didn't do a good job, obviously, in the last three or four minutes with when we went to the bench. But, um, you know, defensively, I thought we, we clogged the middle up. The, their freshmen, we put a lot of pressure on their freshman, Grimm. She was really their only inside presence besides Roter, who, who is as good a post-up player as she is a three-point shooter. She's a terrific player. I, I mean, she's got to be one of the top players in the MAC this year and, and a kid that you just, you know, you, you really got to – give her a tremendous amount of credit because you look at her and you think, wow, she's not that quick and she's not, but she's a player. I mean, she is such a cerebral kid and uh, she's a, a real competitor. So uh, good win for us. I mean, I'm thrilled with it. And, um, you know, I think it's the only uh, MAC team we play this year. Uh, you know, we had Ryder last year. So it, it's, it's a big for us. I mean, you know, we got Loyola in the league now, so uh, they're a pseudo MAC team, but um, you know, it's it's uh, it's a good win. Get get, get us in a good place because we got some tough road games after after Saturday. So I think we did a really good job of moving the ball, getting it inside out. I mean, once we got it inside to the post, they were able to kick out, get us wide open shots. And once we just swung the ball, read the skip passes, wide open threes, and Liv Schretzman killed it on the rebounds. She got us, I think, four or five offensive boards that got us a lot more possessions, and I think that was the difference in uh in the game.